my god, we, we got some great, great things. Hi everyone, and welcome back to Shiny Bright Doggo. Oh my god, do we have a video, or really a haul for you guys today. Oh my god, <laughs> it was, it was, it was Laura's dream. dream. Estate sale. Estate sale. Unbelievable. Um, we're gonna go in and show you guys everything. Um, you're gonna want to stick around and see. This is like the vintage Christmas estate sale of my dreams. Um, yeah. Really excited. I jumped on estatesales.net a few days ago and noticed the sale that didn't have a ton of photos, but I did notice a whole towered ceramic, which is a vintage uh, Christmas ceramic. And I was like, hmm. My eyes were like bugging out. I was like, what is this? <laughs> I was like, what? Whole towered at an estate sale? There were like two pieces? I was like, this could be something. Yeah numbers 11 and 12 i was so upset i was like i want to film the whole process but like i was so focused on the sale i just like couldn't i was so nervous um so yeah we went in and you guys when we go in like we weren't able to film right away like i couldn't wear the gopro i'd be fiddling around with it it'd be falling over me i'm not great with the gopro so we really needed all four hands yeah and you need to be focused <laughs> laser focused <laughs> so we're gonna dive in it's not gonna look like a lot but you guys wait and see the hall the is... hall and what we got is unbelievable let's yeah. go there's just so much and guys i grabbed as much as i could wow there's a girly but he's marked eight. Oh, did you we have bags full did you want this? He's marked for like 15, isn't he? Yeah. Why not? I, we have so much stuff, we're gonna have to just see, you know? Is there a dance? Do you have No. No. Lots of Snow White stuff.
sometimes good for my mom for her birthday. She loves Snoopy. Oh. You know? I think you got a lifetime supply of Snoopy. <laughs> I know. <laughs> like I got I should be able to find something. This is sort of cute. Let's take a look at them. This one's in pretty good condition. Sucking on this um, old mom's ass blanket. Um, let's take a look one by one, I guess. You see the like stoves, the tin stoves? Oh, yeah, some of, some of the um, stuff here is amazing. I wonder what it was like, specifically Snow White, no other Disney. So interesting. Inspired Robert Palmer's sneaking Sally through the alley. Very few people know that. Oh, yes. There's so much stuff. These are so interesting. Little baby Sally. Happy Halloween. You see this, Shane? Halloween Snoopy? Oh. Up to the Snoopy room. Huh. It's like a placement, I think. This is really cool. Wow. At some point, you just gotta walk away. Yeah. You know? Oh my god, we got... We got some great, great things. Probably the most we've, we've spent. Oh. Well worth it. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is probably like... So candid. I probably look disgusting, but like. This is so, it was, this was so worth it. Speechless. Speechless. We spend $250, which may sound like a lot. May sound like a lot, a lot. Probably the most we've ever spent. I think you just said that, but like, yeah. wait until you guys see what we got. I'm buckling Santa in. Guys. Guys! Literally the holy grail of all holy grails. Artist, whole towered Santa. She's been wanting this for the longest time. Speechless. Now he did have another guy with him, but who cares? Look at him. He's broken right here, but I'm- I mean, he didn't have another one with him at the sale though. That's I mean, right. He comes I'm sorry. With... He comes with like another one, um, but this was the only one there. If there's one thing to know about me and Christmas, like ceramic Christmas is my thing. And these go on eBay for like $100 a piece. So I think she like, when she was like talking through it, she said like $2. Yeah, it was 2 or $3. I need to go. I need to go. Goodbye. <laughs> and yeah, a little sneak peek of everything that we got. And there's some in the trunk, but we did a great job. I think that two fifty was well worth it. And uh, maybe we'll do like retail price tally when we show you the haul. Here's his first trip to Starbucks. <laughs> We're on the Starbucks line here. <laughs> I don't know if you can see, oh God, there's off. the drive-through sign. And um, baby's first Starbucks. Baby's first Starbucks. Leave a comment below of what you think you would order. What's Santa's favorite drink? I think it's a peppermint mocha. But I don't know. Does he get it cold or hot? 
always hot. In the summer, he might get a cold one. In the summer, he might get a cold one. We don't know. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, can I get... Do you guys have um, oat milk in stock? Or no? Do we have oat milk? Yeah. Yes. Okay, then I'll take a grande um, brown sugar oat milk. We should not have brown Okay guys, this is it. This is everything we got. We got a whole table full of amazing vintage Christmas goodies. I literally can't believe it. This sale was a lot better than we expected. <laughs> we were numbers 11 and 12, and even though we weren't the first 10, somehow managed to get all of this stuff. There was just so much stuff. There was plenty to go around. So yeah, we spent a grand total of $250, which may seem like a lot, and it is. It's a lot of money to spend, but if you know, you know, these pieces are really, really sought after. Mm -hmm. This is like vintage Christmas ceramic collector, like AKA me, like yeah, dream. This is, <laughs> dream come this true. This is your um, pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. It really is. We yeah. joke about like, oh my God, imagine we go to this estate sale and, fill, and it's filled with whole towers. Well, that was literally well, this. This, this kind sale. of was, yeah. Okay, so let's jump into some of the many amazing things we found. Um, if you guys are familiar with vintage Christmas collectibles, you have heard of the name Holt Howard. And Holt Howard was a Christmas, um, or really a ceramic designer from the 1960s and made these Santa pitcher sets and mugs back in the 1960s. Guys, these sets at the sale were $15. Amazing. Which is like literally unheard of nowadays. They didn't quite know what they had. Um, so when I saw that they were for only $15, my like jaw, jaw hit the ground. You collect these. I collect these. In case these. people don't know. Yes. Um, I don't have this one yet. I have this guy. So this is a pitcher. And I guess this is a pitcher too. I don't know if there were two different variations, but I have this one not in as good condition, I don't think. And these pitchers came with these little, you know, Santa mugs that are also very collectible on their own. These pitcher sets, um, if they're complete, can go for $150 each. Wow. So there's about half of our, you know, Mm -hmm. money that we spent so far so we got like a total of what one two three four five six seven of these whole tower mugs which are in great condition here's another santa mug japan this isn't a whole tower but you know still collectible yep people still love the winking santa mugs yep and what we'll do is do a little bit of a you know we'll pull out some of the retail prices on some of these because it's just like amazing that we found them and see um if we made our money back <laughs> these are another set of whole towers these are actually candlestick holders. These angels, I think they go for like around $50 now. I'm not mm -hmm. too sure. She does have a repair, but they are marked whole tower on the bottom. 1958. They're so cute. They're really cute. They're in pretty good condition. Here is another set of whole towers. These were actually um, candle climbers. So you would put them on your tapered candles. These go for probably around 30-ish dollars. It does have a repair. Is their faces? Yeah, they're really cute. <laughs> they are love really them. Cute. And I think they used to hold a little flag that no. said Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. So I don't have these yet. And those are that's something we can easily add with a little toothpick and yep. uh, paper. Yep. These are really cute. Left in these are so cute. Candle um, climbers. Little Noel signs that they're holding. Janine found these little Santa mugs in the original packaging, which is really cool. Very hard to find in the original packaging. You know, this in itself can go for probably $15, $20 maybe. Adorable. Oh, I love these so it, much. Maybe one of my favorite finds from today, these whole towered um, salt and pepper shaker snowmen. They don't have a whole towered sticker on them and they don't have the original cork. You can see the sticker used to be there, mm -hmm. but this is definitely a whole towered set. Really rare really cute they're kissing i love them 
I think th these are my favorite snowmen. Oh my god, they're so cute. They're so cute. Really rare. These could probably go for like... I'm not on eBay as much as I used to be, but maybe like $80. We'll put a screenshot up here of what they recently sold for on eBay. This is another whole tower. This is actually an ashtray. A lot of people think it's a candy dish, but I guess it could be used as a candy dish. I have one with the original box and it does say ashtray on it, which is interesting. It's from 1962. It does have a little bit of like a defect and some wear, but still really collectible really classic vintage Christmas. Janine found this really cool uh, Christmas brooch and it has like a paper mache Santa in the middle. This might be my personal favorite find at the sale. I couldn't believe it when I saw it, that it was still there. I didn't find it right away. Um, Laura didn't see it for once I found something. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's so cool. This could probably go for like $20, $25 at an antique mall. Um, easy. So, yeah, very nice. Very cool. This one was marked 15. Janine grabbed it. It was a little pricey, right? Um, some things were marked, but other things weren't. So mm -hmm. while he was 15, the ceramics were like $2 each. They didn't quite understand what they had. So it all sort of balanced out at the end. Mm -hmm. um, he's probably worth 20 maybe? A little bit it's more than 15? It's the biggest roly-poly Santa I've ever seen. Right, because look at him. He's the one that you usually see. Yeah. The little smaller one. So maybe even more than 20 um, dependent on the buyer, so... We got two little roly poly Santas. We've got a fleet of tiny Santa mugs. Look how mm. small they are. How cute is that? These, um, I'm not quite sure their retail value. Um, you'd, you know, sell them in a set for maybe like $4 a piece, if not more. Five. You have what? We have four, six, eight, ten. So. Yeah, we have ten little mugs. Cute. They all match this set. It's all matching, so very cute. This flock sant is really fun, really different because it's actually marked Napco, which you don't normally see, you know, branded flock santas like this one. Really cute. I think I'll bring them to work during Christmas and put pens in there on my <laughs> desk. That's so cute. I found a bunch of little ceramic goes. There were so many of them. Uh, that one I think was a candle holder. I couldn't find the other pair to it. But look at all of them. They're so adorable. Cute. Had to pick those up. Had to get this flock Santa. He reminded me so much of the big one that we have. Um, I didn't realize until we got home that he's missing the little pom-pom off of here, but that's a really easy fix. Yeah. And he is made in Japan. Otherwise, he's in really great condition. Also, one of my favorite finds, extremely hard to find, very collectible. She probably goes for like $60 herself. Are these, I believe, left in? No, this is a Napco. You can see that mark right in there. Mm -hmm. This is a Napco Candy King Girl. She's a little bell. Her wings are there. She's in perfect condition. I absolutely love her. You guys saw this in the video. I almost didn't grab it, but I was like, come on, Laura, this is so cute. You put your little uh, Christmas cards in here. So, whole towered um, Santa candelabra. I actually do own this piece. I realized while we were in the house that the package was broken off and I looked everywhere for it. It wasn't there. Um, so this will have to sell for a little bit less, but somebody will still buy it, I hope, and you know maybe refurbish that or put mm -hmm. something else in its place. Really cute Santa set adorable so cute oh my gosh oh my god he's going he's going you can't stop him <laughs> these are older wind-up toys probably from like the 40s i believe mm -hmm. we don't super collect these but i mean how can you resist santa with balloons and santa on mm -hmm. an elk classic light up santa he used to have a christmas tree here usually um he was 15 but i haven't tested him i'm hoping he works but even if he doesn't he's in great condition a lot of the times they're beat up so he can probably sell for more than $15. Um, we'll put some screenshots again of what he can go for. Mm -hmm. We got some beautiful die cuts. We got the reindeer classic. This really awesome Santa I've never seen before. A 70s Santa. These were really cute and fun to find. We found some really fun Night Before Christmas books. These were pretty popular back in the 40s and early 50s. This one on the left is actually from 1949. This one's close to like 69. I think it's closer to the 70s. Um, and this one's probably older too, in the middle, maybe in the 50s. Mm -hmm. But they're just really cool. They're all in this like long shape. 
and really fun to find and collect. Just love those illustrations. And found this really cute made in Japan Santa mail holder. <laughs> How cute so is he? Cute. He holds all your Christmas cards and he's got those really cool lenticular eyes that you've mm -hmm. seen a lot of like 50s, you know, toys and collectibles. So this is really cute and fun to find. And he's got tiny little feet. Look at his feet. It's about to fall off, but it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Do I even need to say how much I love this little guy? No. I love him. <laughs> oh my god. Guys, whole towered artist Santa. Super duper rare. Almost as rare as the starry eyed picture set. I mean, come on. Come on. This is like This is a holy grail. Holy grail for me. For you. A hundred percent holy grail. Never thought I would get him. Never thought I would get him for two dollars. Can you believe it? <laughs> oh my god, I almost fainted. She was oh like no. two dollars and I was like ah, two dollars. So yeah. Um artist, whole tower at Santa, a grail piece, super hard piece. to find. Um he's going in the collection for sure. We love him. Love you, Santa. Okay. All right, guys, that wraps up everything we got. We didn't show you every single item just because there was so much stuff that we did get. I just, just am still in awe. I can't believe it's it. It's amazing. Extremely lucky, extremely grateful. Um, we just love this kind of stuff. So maybe, is this the top of the screen right here? Yeah, that'll work. This is what we spent, and we're going to tally everything, an estimate of what we think it would go for on eBay. Um, and this is the total here. I'm hoping it's more than $250. Mm -hmm. um, but even <laughs> yeah, if it do. isn't, we had a great time. Um, we hope you guys enjoyed seeing all the amazing things that were inside this house. Thanks for joining us. If you guys did enjoy, hit that like button. really helps us out. Hit subscribe if you haven't already so you can see our newest videos as they come out. Thanks for joining us, guys. See you next time. Bye. Bye.